Hello, 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 Gemini's. This is Jackson Knowledge Goddess. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be doing your June 2021 reading um, for your monthly. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, so everything may or may not apply to you in your situation, and that is okay. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend who may need it, and comment below and let me know if it resonates with you. <clears throat> and also, if you would like to see more of me, hit that subscription, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, hit that post notification bell next to the subscription button. I would love to have you and thank you for joining. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have evolution, cleansing, and mercy. So a lot of you, I feel like you're learning a lot more about chakras, learning a lot more about communication with the divine. And there also may, uh, may need to be some type of cleansing here. And um, I'm also, I heard your wish is granted. So let's go ahead and get into it. So under evolution, we have healer of the ages. So healing, evolving through healing. We also have the six of wands, the sun card, and the two of swords. So you finally come into some type of decision or getting out of some type of bind successfully. That's what I'm seeing here. Plain and simple. <clears throat> feeling more free feeling feeling like you can be yourself again uh, feeling like nothing is holding you back um, I'm also seeing it looks like I'm seeing a runway so some of you um, may be going out of town or something like that or maybe you're traveling okay and we have the chariot card. As soon as I said traveling, okay. So some of you are going to be traveling. Um, see, it's like a lot of... Like you're deciding where to travel. You're deciding which way to go. You're deciding how it is that you want to move forward. Okay? Um, what's best for you. That's, that's what you need to do. What's best for you and your evolution. I see you learning a lot more about yourself and learning to accept yourself a lot more. Learning to love yourself a lot more and also learning what to change about yourself as well. Um, okay, so we have the three of cups. And... So, um, a lot of you... And we have the Hierophant. Okay, so a lot of you may be... Um, like conversing with friends over some type of spiritual conversation or um, you may be celebrating some type of tradition next month um, or traveling to be with some type of family or friends. Um, okay, I heard top floor penthouse. Okay, so some of you may be doing some type of business trip or some type of celebration next month um and like maybe like a uh, skyscraper building or something like that but um also your third eye opening as well okay so let's move on okay so you have the woman holding a coin under cleansing you have the star the nine of cups and the three of swords <clears throat> so a lot of you are definitely healing from some some different things um and like again feeling feeling free feeling like your wishes are fulfilled like you've done like you've accomplished something so i feel like a lot of you are going to be accomplishing something okay so why do we have the three of swords here so maybe it may need to be some type of um heart healing or heart cleansing or heart chakra cleansing um, mm -hmm. Yep, because you have temperance. Okay, so forgiveness. Uh, forgiveness as well. So forgiveness for some type of disappointment or some type of heartbreak. So I feel like you're, you're feeling very accomplished, but I feel like at times you may um, 
like when you're by yourself or you get by yourself or you have time to think for yourself, I feel like sometimes negative thoughts and emotions and feelings and uh, things like that can kind of deter you or take you away from the positive things. So just try to remain positive, um, especially in times where you're by yourself. Don't be scared to be vulnerable with yourself. Be honest with yourself and um, evaluate things for your evolution. Even if you look here, see so you have the temperance card and they both have these different uh, circles. So um, I'm also seeing a lot of different things as far as like cycles. So learning more about cycles as well. <clears throat> learning how to get out of those different negative cycles especially when it comes to other people okay beautiful all right so we have mercy goddess of the moon six of cups the ace of wands and the king of swords um so there may be something in the past that you're trying to make uh light of or trying to make it make sense um i feel like there's also something that you may have some type of idea that you may have um left in the past i feel like you're going to be bringing that back to the forefront um of your life and kind of remembering why you started um, and feeling more ignited, feeling more inspired, feeling more motivated to get back into it. I feel like it's something that you're getting back to. So it's kind of like getting back to basics, um, but putting a little more strategy on it, being a little more disciplined, um, having a lot more creativity as well. Um, Y'all came up in Taurus's reading as well. So um, especially if it has to do with love. I would uh, look at the Taurus's reading. Okay. But being a lot more, um, and look, you have the Sun card again. So you're yeah, being a lot more balanced in in your reasonings and your logic and your mental space. Um, you have the Knight of Wands. Learning how to communicate your wants and needs better. Um, I see you getting more in tune with yourself. And also understanding, oh yeah, and also um, learning when to, especially when it comes to work, learning when to, um, first off, keep a, get, get a better routine for yourself. And that's going to help as far as your your strategy, getting things done a lot, uh, a lot more efficiently. Learning when to, when and where to place all that passion, all that fire and ambition, and also learning when to cool down, when to calm down, when to gather yourself. Um, learning to incorporate self love as well, and also um, some of you crying is what's needed in order for some type of healing. So. Um, and it also may in turn help to, uh, th like that's another form of cleansing for you. Okay, let's get one more. Yep, and you have the death card. So yeah, that's, that's gonna help to, uh, and you have the tower card as well. So some type of foundation that's being broken down in order to be rebuilt again. Um, and it'll be more stable, more more sturdy, um, more durable. Um, and it's going to work better for you in in which the with the path that you're trying to go towards moving forward. Um, I see a lot of your ways being um, like a lot of your negative ways. being let go of also okay i just heard chip on chip on your shoulder 
So some type of chip on your shoulder, some type of animosity or um, some type of hostility towards someone, I feel like that's going to be released as well. Okay, so with that being said, this was y'all's reading for this month. Thank you all for joining. Uh, wish y'all the best. I hope this was beneficial. I'll see you next time.